Hi, I'm Pete from Project Heaven. Let's have a look at what we've been up to this week in the workshop. Okay, so we've been uh, retrimming this little Austin 7 here. It's an Austin 7 Ruby, uh, 1936. If you have a look inside, we've done all of the door cards, carpets, roof lining, glove box, um, things like that. Looks pretty smart. Okay. We've also got this Porsche 911 in here, but you might have noticed something's missing at the moment. So we're actually going to do an electric conversion on this car, um, and it's going to be a Tesla motor we're going to fit into that. So follow us for updates on what we're doing with that on our social media. Up here we've got uh, one of the chaps work for us. He's got a little Ferrari Dino project. That's just a little personal thing he's building for himself. Something special under there still. We still can't show you what that is. Over here we've got a Austin Healey 3000. We're doing a full nut and bolt restoration on this one. We've already painted the main part of the chassis. And uh, what we'll do is we get the whole thing uh, set up like a little sort of like a go-kart. And then at the last minute, we fit all the body panels and everything else. So we get it to be like a running, driving car first. The other cool thing about this is we've been putting electric power steering on it. So that it, uh, it's a bit lighter steering for the chap that owns it. So over here, we've got a really cool car. Allard J2X Racer. Uh, we've done a paint job on this. We've done a little bit of body work. Um, and the main thing we've done on this one is an engine build. So in here, we've got a 6.6 .6 litre engine. Recently taken this for some testing at an airfield. And we're gonna do more of that soon. So you'll be able to watch that in future videos. Let's see if we can open this up here. Okay, so at the moment we've just been checking things over. We had a couple of leaks from these uh, spark plug tubes. So we've just resealed those and just making sure the breather system's working properly. Um, and it's ready for its next, work, the next uh, test day. Okay, so next one we've got a Jaguar Mark 7. This one's come in from New Zealand. It was in a museum out there. And it's not been on the road for quite a while. So we've done a lot of recommissioning, uh, done a load of like a very heavy service on the engine and on the brakes, replaced the exhaust system, just general stuff like that. It actually drives really well. It's a really nice car. The next car you've seen before, it's the Mercedes Pagoda. Um, this one we've now at the stage where all the wiring's complete and um, it turns over and we're about to start firing up. We've just been building up oil pressure. So probably tomorrow we'll get this one fired up. Once it's all running, then we can start really to reinstall all the trim and the door cards and everything else and get it all together. Let's have a look in the engine room and see what's going on in here. Uh, so Hugo's working late, by the looks of things. Uh, working on these Aston Martin V8 heads we've got here. So. We've had these ceramic impregnated because the castings have gone porous. Uh, we've also skimmed, given it a light skim there. Uh, we've replaced one of the valve seats on the exhaust. So it dropped the valve. Uh, and it's got all new valves, all new springs, all new collets. Uh, and we're just going through the process of shimming it out now at the moment. And uh, Hugo's finished this one and he's just working on that one over there. So, the next car we've got is a really beautiful piece of kit, the Spano Suiza H6B. It's a 6.6 .6 litre, 1922. This one's come in for us to take the rear springs off because it was a bit low at the back. So after time, the springs, they lose their springiness basically. And we've had to take them off. We're going to get them recambered, re-tempered and put those back on. But it's just a nice thing to have a look at whilst it's in the workshop. Have a quick look in the engine bay. So there's a gorgeous engine, that Hispano engine there, six cylinders. So, gorgeous thing. All the nickel-plated uh, bright work, not chrome. 
much more period correct. We've got um, gorgeous hand controls, advanced and retard on here, fuel mixture, hand throttle. Uh, to start the car, you have to have it on, on full retarded. And then as you start it up, you bring, it up, bring up the advance. Of course, as well, back in the day when fuel was pretty rubbish, you'd uh, retard the ignition if your fuel was a bit crap and then bring it back up if you've got better fuel in it. Um, also, if you have a look at all these lovely instruments here, petrol tank level gauge is a really nice piece of kit. So you pull that up and it gives you the readout. So in the metal working room, at the moment, Ed's working on this um, Alfa Romeo 105 Spider. Uh, the paintwork on the outside of the car is okay, but something went wrong in this engine bay here, potentially a bit of a brake fluid leak or something like that. So we've removed the engine for the customer and we're, gonna, we're in the process of respraying all this. There's a couple of other little welding repairs to do. There's a bit of corrosion to the chassis, which we're sorting out, the jacking points, and we've taken the doors off. And over on Ed's workbench, is one of the doors. So he's re-skinning the bottom. I'm not gonna put a whole door skin in, it doesn't need it. Uh, so Ed's made this skin up and he's, and he's put that on there. And as you can see, you're just going through the process of shrinking and stretching it. The panel is put in to make sure it is a perfect fit. Okay, so thanks for watching our video. Uh, be sure to watch future videos for when we take this thing out on track and give it some stick. Uh, and if you've got a classic car that you've worked doing, be sure to get in contact with us. Mm-hmm. <laughs>